Hey, I am back, um, actually back with a new camera. And this is my first video with the new camera. And I'm sure some of you are gonna ask, I'm gonna tell you the brand. It's a Canon PowerShot SX230HS. And I can put that down in the description box. Uh, so yeah, I broke my other favorite camera at the Natural Hair Show last week. Okay, so this video this that I'm doing today has been highly requested and it's uh, about my skincare regimen. It is super simple. Um, when people ask me on the street, or not literally on the street, but when I am out, and they, first, if I'm with one of my children, one of my older children, they're like, um, those are your kids? Yeah, and then they may ask me how old I am, and then I may tell them, and then they ask me, what do I do to my skin? And when I tell them, they look at me like I'm crazy, like they don't believe me, but... It's true. I mean, my skincare regimen is super simple and easy. I um, mean, it's always been. Now, it has drastically changed since the last video, my skin, last skincare video that I posted probably over, it's been a little bit over a year ago. And it changed because I had a reaction to some prednisone. I was on prednisone because I got stung by a bee. And, you know, the, it's a steroid. And it just reeked havoc on my skin my skin broke out and i i just was never you i never had any skin problems never had acne growing up as a kid at all never i got a bump every now and then like uh most uh women do when it's that time of the month but other than that i just don't have i never had skin problems so i was not a happy camper so i actually had to go to a dermatologist and he told totally kind of just revamped my uh skincare routine so he suggested, um, he gave me a couple prescriptions. One was like a liquid um, antibiotic topical that I don't use anymore. So I, I would put that on the areas that were broke out, which was actually my face and my cheeks. And then he also had gave me um, Retin-A. And this is the generic form. This is tretinoin cream and it's like 0.05%. This stuff is a liquid well not liquid cream gold in a tube this will be forever part of my regimen retin a is vitamin a and what vitamin a does it is it turns over your cells very quickly so it gets rid of acne very quickly i mean very quickly and it also fades it gets rid of it helps to turn over like the um, the scarring cells on your face. So it turns it over, it lights it up, it gets rid of it. You just exfoliate it away. I mean, that's just the best way. I'm not a dermatologist, so that's just the best analogy or description that I can tell you on how this stuff works. And I got to tell you a funny story about this after the, after I get finished with talking about my regimen. So when, I, when he first gave me this, I had to use it every other night. And I would say within like two to three weeks, my face was completely clear and he told me that I can use this as maintenance and that I would love it. So now I use it uh, no more than three times a week, but a minimum of twice a week. So you use this at night. So here my regular regimen or routine every morning or every night, I take off my, my mascara eyeliner because I'm a mascara eyeliner addict. And I take that off of like, I use, I don't even use the eye makeup remover. I use like a cheap Queen Helene lotion, put on my eyes, take some tissue, get wipe it off. Then I wash my face with CeraVe um, foaming face cleanser. It compares to probably like a Cetaphil, but I actually like the CeraVe better. You can get this at Target or Walmart or Walgreens or CVS. It's, no, it's not going to be no more than like $11. So Walmart and Target is a little cheaper than a Walgreens or a CVS. So I use, I wash my face with this in the morning and um, before I go to bed. So this is my cleanser. Also um, in the morning, after I wash my face and it's dry, I apply my newfound love, my 100% pure um, organic coffee bean eye cream. And I have been using this now for over a month and I, absolutely love it so I put that under my eyes I bring it up I pat 
and you know and then do I do sweeping motions under my eyes and I actually put it on top of my eyelid so that's in the morning so I put my eye cream on first and then I put my moisturizer and this is the cheap generic version of oil of Olay for sensitive skin and it has SPF 15 uh, side note, it is a must when you are using a Retin-A, a retinoid product, you have to use a minimum of SPF 15. Now, uh, some dermatologists will suggest 30, but he did tell me at least a 15. SPF for uh, black skin, uh, my color, I would say, or darker, or maybe even maybe a shade lighter than me, it has, it leaves a white the more the SPF, the whiter the cast is, and not the cast on your face. I don't like that. So 15 works fine for me, but it is a must. I repeat, it is a must. If you are using a Retin-A uh, type um, regimen or using a cream or something, you have to use SPF because this thins your skin out because it 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 turns over your uh, cells very very quickly love it i will not be without this and then twice a week like on wednesday or sunday night i will use my cheap saint ives apricot scrub has been around for years less than four bucks i instead of like washing my face with the cerave on wednesdays and sundays night i will use this as my wash i don't moisturize my face at night but i do apply my eye cream at night that's it that is my skin regimen. I don't use a toner. I did, I was using like a apple cider vinegar and water um, toner and Lola Kings talked about that in the video. And it is a good toner, but my dermatologist actually told me it wasn't necessary to do. So I just stopped. I've just been following, you know, like what he told me to do and he has been 100% correct. And it's just, I mean, my whole skincare regimen is probably less than $20. Um, and the reason is I, I have health insurance, so this was pretty cheap. It is not cheap, though, if you don't have health insurance. So, yeah, so let me tell you a, the little funny story when I went to get this prescribed. So I went to get it prescribed, and the insurance, what they, they were tripping. They were like, well, no, we need to talk to the doctor. We need to find out, like, why you're prescribing it. So she said, when I went, the pharmacist said, we have to send it to the insurance because the insurance needs to talk to the doctor. I'm like, why? And she was like, because of your age. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> she was like, yes. When you're over a certain age, um, when you're born in the 60s, <laughs> the insurance needs to confirm why your doctor is prescribing a Retin-A cream because women have been using this as an anti-age cream and insurances will not pay for it for that use you have to come out of pocket if you're using this anti-aging and it is really you it is it's used for acne and anti-aging and it has given my skin a totally different texture my skin is super baby smooth i can't even that's the only analogy i can give you it's super soft it's super soft and it's just it's just smooth and it's because of this like if I get if I get a pimple or a bump and I mess with it and it leaves a mark I'm telling you like within a week a week and a half or so it's gone uh, from this retin-a because retin-a again it it turns over your cells very rapidly very rapidly but it is imperative if you are using this you have to use a moisturizer that has at least a 15 in it and if your skin can take 30 and the cast doesn't bother you or you have a brand that doesn't leave a cast, please put that down below. You probably want to use a 30. So that's it. That's my skincare regimen and that was my funny story. Um, if you have any questions about it, just leave it in the comments below. And until the next video, I'll talk to you later.